everybody, it's Ingrid from Twinkle and in today's video I'm going to be walking you through how to write a play script step by step. If you've ever read a script before, you would have noticed that they follow a very specific format. It's laid out a bit differently than a short story would be, for example, which would be written in prose. Play scripts often begin with a character list. This names and gives us a brief description of each character. This is useful for actors because it tells them what the character is like and gives them ideas on how they can play them. For example, a character description may mention age, personality traits, or important aspects of their physical appearance. It may even mention whether they have an accent or not. Now let's take a look at an example and go through some of the other features of a play script. Here is an extract from a play script telling the story of Little Red Riding Hood. The first thing we have at the top is the scene number. In plays, scenes are kind of like the chapters of a book, so you might want to switch to a new scene when the setting or the characters change, or if you move on to another part of the story. We've also identified the setting, or where the scene is happening. Throughout the script, you can make use of theatre terms and vocabulary. This can tell us what's going on with the lights, the sound effects, where on the stage characters are positioned, that kind of thing. If you didn't know, different parts of the stage have different names. Like if you were standing in the middle, you would be centre stage. Fun fact! Did you know that the back of the stage, the part that's furthest away from the audience, is called upstage because back in the day stages were slanted downwards so that the audience could see everything that was happening easier. This is why the part closest to the audience is called downstage and upstage is the part closer to the back. If you're ever trying to figure out where stage right and stage left are, Think of it this way. If you're a performer standing in the middle of the stage and facing the audience, it would be your left and your right. This is because stage directions are written for the performers. They're not written for the audience, so it would be from the performer's perspective if they were facing the audience. Now let's get back to our example. Play scripts don't have to have a narrator or a person telling the story. This can just be left up to the audience as they watch the characters and follow the story for themselves, but they can. Like in this example, we have two rabbits who are narrating the story. As you may have noticed, the play script has been laid out with the names of the characters to the left, and the dialogue, or what they are saying, is indented and to the right. Every time a new character talks, it should happen on a new line. This makes it easy for the actors to know where their lines are. There are also no speech marks around the dialogue. This is because we know that's what the characters are saying, so we don't need to put that in the play script. Stage directions tell us what's going on on stage. No one reads the stage directions out loud. They're just there to let the performers know what should be happening on stage. These are always in italics like they are here, and they're written in the present tense as though they are happening right now. If you're adding stage directions into the bits while the characters are talking, these should also be put in brackets so we know it's not part of the dialogue. And those are pretty much the basics on how to write a play script. A couple of top tips. Don't put too much detail into the stage directions. Leave it up to the actors and the directors to make some decisions for themselves. Also, less is more when you're writing dialogue. We don't need the actors to tell us how they're feeling or what they're doing because this is stuff that we can see when we watch them on stage. Finally, make sure the formatting is as clear as possible. It can be helpful to read other examples of scripts or even publish plays to give you an idea of what it should look like. That's all from me on how to write a play script, but if you'd like more tips or materials to help you on this journey, make sure you take a look around the Twinkle website as there are tons of great educational resources that you can choose from. We have script writing templates, example scripts, playwriting checklists, and much more, so feel free to browse around. Thank you so much for watching and break a leg!